So I've said this many times, um, and you've ignored it as you're in your little notebook. How many friendships does she maintain? How many people does she want to be around? Blah, 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 blah. What a fucking loser. What a fucking loser. What a fucking loser. What a bitch. She must deserve to be alone and die on a hole because clearly that's evident by the how few people she has in her life. Um, I'm just going to be straight up with you. You're going to really struggle to find um, a lot of footage with uh, me having arguments with um, friends prior to Star Wars friends prior to star wars boyfriends yeah you know there there were conflicts from time to time odette as it's here she can be a bit difficult sometimes and we have our conflicts and you know, two different personalities coming together but um aside from that go ahead you don't see it very often now obviously conflicts come up but i'm talking arguments or or yelling or go ahead there's nothing after star wars ha go ahead through my whole life i don't care how long you've been I, I really rarely argued with friends prior to this and then when star wars happened it's been a non-stop argument i want to talk to you about why i've said to, so i've said this to you numerous times about how star wars destroys every single relationship in my life that nobody can handle it and it's not because i'm so terrible it's because there's reason that people should have the right to privacy, okay? Um, and um, and I don't. So here's what happens. Um, I get um, I get um, people in my life who can't ha handle the pressure of Star Wars, who get you know um who get messages that saying you know from what's up and things i didn't write saying all the things that i didn't say about them who people will go and sabotage and worm, worm tongue them and and um get into their minds maybe because they're directly hired to do so maybe because they just are are defensive of their friend and what has happened is there has become a precedent set and it's the devil's craft if this is the devil's game star wars is a hundred percent the devil's game it breeds dishonesty by default but everyone 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 is a liar in star wars there's no exception to this every time they act like they don't know what star wars is that they don't want to ask too many questions of me when they are operating off of information that they heard secondhand about me and then applying it when they don't ask me questions directly about what's going on or, or what they heard or whatever. Um, these are, um, this is how it operates. This is how these things happen. So, um, so, and then what happens is, you know how in your life, when you have things to work out, you write it down? Well, my journals get exposed. So I don't write it down anymore because you then have it in writing and throw me in the loony bin with for these writings. Or if I send myself an email with my thoughts, you guys read those. Or if I want to make a phone call and talk about the issue, maybe with somebody else, with a friend, you monitor it. Or if I'm sitting in my living room and you decide to put up cameras and I'm, you know, talking about this and this and this, now it's a world event as opposed to just, this is normal. Everybody does it. Tell me that that's not even part of life. You, let's say you go, you have a friend and you're having problems with them and you go home and you talk to your spouse about it. There's nothing wrong in that. But if your friend heard you talking to your spouse, it might be kind of hurt, right? But it doesn't make you wrong for trying to work out your feelings. No, it doesn't. But so what happens is everyone gets really offended by these things that I have to express because I'm a human being and not a robot and, and I have to express them like any human would, but it's the over monitoring that kills it. And so people start to, they, they can get directly bribed to be away. They can be scared away. Maybe they have threats. They can be convinced that. I, I said or did something that I didn't do, or I did do something and it offended him, but it's now like a huge thing when really 
they shouldn't have even been privy to the information or the information probably wasn't nearly as bad as it got played into. There's a way that the people around us, because it's such a big deal, even the best intentioned people can make much ado about nothing. And now you feel this point of pride in defending yourself against me. Like there's also a way that because I've been very selective with the few people that I have in my life, because I'm very guarded and defensive, um, that you, you want to justify it. And so in moments of frustration, we'll go, well, this is why she doesn't have anybody in her life. This is why nobody loves her. This is why, this is why, this is why. And prior to Star Wars, it was once in a blue moon that I had an argument with a friend. It was really not very often. I mean, I could go literally a decade with certain friends without any argument. And now it is constantly sabotaged everything. Also, you know, boyfriends, it becomes impossible. You can't have sex. You can't, you can't, all these things because you shouldn't be over monitoring. It's just, it becomes impossible. They don't maybe want to tell all their secrets in the way that they would normally share it to you or have these intimate moments of vulnerability that maybe they don't want the world to be privy to. And so 100%, I say year after year after year, it is impossible, impossible, impossible to have a truly intimate or healthy relationship with anyone while I'm stuck in Star Wars. And then you write it down in your fucking notebook. It's a miracle I have any kind of correspondence with people at all because because by default, I feel like they're lying to me because they don't want to acknowledge the reality. How I can't even answer. How was your day? You always go, oh, fine. See, she's a liar. She says she's fine when she's not. You're a liar. That's why I can't answer. Like, how are you? How am I supposed to? How was your day? How how was my day? Um, the world fucking still condemned me. Star Wars still raged on. I was still famous against my will. I was framed by people that I cannot hear half the time or see that said this about me. Well, I can't say any of this. It's not allowed. So I can't even answer the day, the, the question, how was your day with honesty? And you can't even be honest with me. If, well, my friend saw that this camera of you and then it caused this and it made me feel that way. And, you know, when you put this on blast for the world or when this was talked about in this pocket, this community that you don't even know, they are never honest. So neither party can be honest. And without honesty and true communication, there can be no sustaining relationship. It's the devil's craft. You're all walking the devil's game. I can't. I can't. I can't go over it. I've tried to talk about Star Wars. You guys shut me down. Oh, what? Do you still post on YouTube? You're constantly playing these games. So. Everybody does. They're constantly playing these games. Oh, I didn't even know. Oh, I forgot this about you. It's like everybody knows. So they're always minimizing all the things. And um, so the devil's game is this. You know, when you, let's say you have a pastor at a, um, at a um, church or something. You know, church gossips. It's just what it is. When they talk about the priest or whoever, they... Um, They'll be like really kind, if, even when they gossip, because they kind of know it's wrong to gossip, but they kind of want to say the thing. They'll be like, well, sometimes did you kind of notice that uh, well, time to time about this, about the guy, you know, whatever. And they'll be like, well, yeah, I mean, but God bless. And they're really ultra respectful. With me, what has happened is it, it all that self-consciousness that you might feel towards your neighbor or your friend or gossiping about another or coming to conclusions or making a big to-do or making jokes about... All these things, you have permission to do it. You're obedient to society, and so I'm not in the same category. That othering makes me less than by default. And it's not your fault. It's the social conditioning of it. I am less than. So all those respects and everything, they go out the window. And what happens is it breeds, it's a slippery slope where it breeds bad behavior from people that aren't necessarily bad. It's just they are... Um, they're just doing what everybody else does. Everybody's stuck in Star Wars. No one's willing to defy it. And I have said time and again that Star Wars brings out the worst in people. I Yes, even the good people. And it's not, again, not their fault. And I don't just mean people with bad intentions, with payment to fuck me over. I mean, I've watched everything. Everyone that I love, it's Palinic. In the end, everyone rejects you or dies. Yeah, and they either pull away or they reject me, you know, and, and, um, 
And really what's happening more than anything is they're rejecting the process of Star Wars. Look, you've had thoughts about your friends or your loved ones that you've not expressed, right? You have the right to privacy. I don't. So it's not, and it's not just that. People have been scared away. People have been hit by cars. People have been threatened with knives, with guns to their head. I mean, this is real. This is reality to stay away. And then they've been bribed on top of that. The way that they dub it in the Sterling household is that they bully and bribe. That's the recipe. They bully and bribe and they bully and bribe and they bully and bribe until they become bad. But even the people that don't take the bribes, Star Wars is the craft of the devil. We're all playing the devil's game and then we wonder why we're all frustrated and why it doesn't feel right and why we're at odds and why we're resisting or why we're... But the sign that it is the devil's game is if you really look at the things that I said, just point blank with no opinion attached to it from an outsider, your opinion about what I have said, because I don't do anything. I don't, I've not hurt anybody through action. So you don't have that. It's not my style. But through words, yes. But your reaction is too big. I'm not saying that I can't hurt your feelings and that I'm not responsible for that. I'm saying, don't you feel it in you that your reaction is just too big? That's because it's not, it's the devil's game. It's the devil's game. If your other friend said that and you caught that, it might not have hurt you as much. But it's because... You feel like it's you're put on blast by the entire world. Now you're insecure. Your friend came over and told you how horrible it was. And then your other friend seconded it. And then you made a joke about me. And it all becomes justified. And what the human mind, and let's just admit it, you guys, let's just talk candidly. What the human mind does is it, when it's mad, look, you're all in a position of every single person on the planet who's not me is in a position of power an authority over me because knowledge is power and you have knowledge about what's going on and I don't I am disempowered from this you all have this power and power can corrupt even those that are not corrupt by nature now there's this way that you guys having this constant authority over me can create and it's it's the devil's game a sense of superiority by accident or on purpose, um, or some very much embrace that and love that. And that, that because you are in a superior positioning, it's a default positioning, but it can trick the mind into going, she is less than, she's a pissant, she's unlovable, she's deserving of the bad things, let's find a way to blame her, especially when your feelings are hurt, or especially when you read some WhatsApp text that I didn't write, <laughs> or whatever. And so Star Wars has systematically, and I've said it for six years, I am unable to sustain truly honest, truly intimate, or tr with true longevity, any relationship. I lost a friend of 17 years this past month that I could never have an honest conversation because directly we've been friends for 17 years, lost her during Star Wars, I think because she lied, but also, but see, I think because she lied. I think she set me up with garnet rocks. I think that. And I stated that because I have to, because I'm in Star Wars. And if this is some drugs thing, I need to mention it. But what if I'm wrong? I don't know it. I don't know. It looks like that would be about it, but I don't know it. So I go into ultra defense and I tell you why this person is bad and why they did me wrong. I could be wrong. And now I've just hurt an innocent. Yours, it's the devil's crap. I, even with the best intentions for me to uphold the good, to uphold what is reality for me, God is a definition of totality, reality, and love. And so if I, I have made, I have made a vow to God that I will adhere to reality, good, bad, the ugly, and in between. And, and so in my point of view, I'm correct. I've done this. I've upheld what's real, what's got, but I could be wrong because it's the devil's fucking game. Just like you could be wrong in your assumptions. No one is supposed to win this. And then people get disproportionately angry and frustrated with me and say that I'm no good or just and throw the baby out with the bathwater. Um, I will tell you this. If you have been involved in, if you have ever met me, I think I can say this. If you have ever met me, God gave you an opportunity no, 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 fuck that. If you have ever met me or ever heard my words or ever heard of me, all of you, yeah, I'm putting it out there. Yeah, like a good Nietzsche person. If you've ever heard of me, God gave you an opportunity 
a calling, an, I don't know, a calling, but an opportunity to take up the good fight. And very few of you picked up that call. I would say mainly it's the people that are devout to God that picked up the call. And very few of you I even trusted to do that. There have been plenty of people that claim that they were devout that I don't want anywhere in Star Wars. Nope. Um, so if you are in my life, I've, I've, there's a reason for it. And you might say, but there's so few of us. And you lose people along the way. Mm -hmm. But it's not just you chose me. Eh. A lot of people choose me. Yes. A lot of people want to be my friend. They want to use me for fame. They want to get attention. They want to be part of the thing. They want to know what's going on. Or maybe they even have fucking hell good intentions. I don't know. But I have to pick you. Yeah. I mean, I've been famous for a long time now. You think I have trouble getting attention wherever I go? I can't help it even if I'm wearing a mask. Okay. So... It says to me that you guys are special. The ones that I've selected to even be in my life, you're there for a reason. Um, because you're all special. In my in my humble opinion, you're all special. Um, but, and I think that there's some that this is directly their destiny. I, I, I feel it to my core that it is your destiny to be a warrior for God in this situation. I know it. And it's not an accident. It's a good choice by God. But I also know that the devil will keep coming between us because we keep playing his game. And we will always be resisting because I'm frustrated that you're not honest with me. I'm frustrated that some of your assumptions about me are incredibly offensive to me. You're frustrated that I seem hypersensitive and defensive and stubborn in my ways. We're unable to um, communicate directly to one another. And so it goes nowhere except for getting worse and more distant and more... And it's really a shame. And it has happened to every single one of my relationships in Star Wars. I, as someone who had relationships for 20 years, 15 years with very few conflicts, I went from that to the pariah of the world. It's because we're playing the devil's game. I am i don't have privacy to just share my thoughts among friends or just get it out the way that you do. You feel insulted by what I've said to the world kind of the, not on purpose on my end but also I've given up on trying to have any privacy because it blatantly doesn't exist and and on and on and it's breeding the worst it's breeding the most hurtful points in in all parties and we feel that I feel that you're two-faced you feel that I'm two-faced you hear me saying something say, well, why don't you say it to my face and you talk behind my back and I think the same thing. Or you, you write it out or you have the thoughts and you don't say it. Why? Because it's normal. Because we don't walk around saying, let me tell you every single thing I've ever thought of you. No one would ever have a relationship again. Tell me you haven't had one negative thought towards everybody in your life at some point. Just yeah, bullshit. And you didn't bring it up all the time. I think your shoes are fucking ugly. I think that your personality is really shit when you're on your period. You know, whatever. I think that your cooking fucking sucks, dude. I think that the brand muffins that you bought to the bake sale are not nearly as good as you thought, Wanda. You know, whatever. But we don't go around like this. But Star Wars creates that. And I feel this sort of obligation to explain to you why I'm mad. Which maybe I shouldn't do, but at the same time, if I stomp around and, I, and I'm angry and you'll go, oh, it's because she didn't get laid yesterday or she didn't get enough blow or she's on blow. And really, I'm pissed off because most generally where I get defensive is when people try to define who I am to me and they're doing it without accuracy. And because Star Wars, the 100% of the game is accuracy, continuity, and credibility. If I don't pick up my shield right now, I've lost the game. If I acquiesce, if I, if I uh, tacitly comply to not along to what you're saying and it's inaccurate, I've now hurt the entire cause. And so it creates this ultra defensiveness in me that, it's not easy. It's not easy for people. But really, the problem is this fucking game. We all are doing it. It's all the devil's game. We're walking the devil's path as we play Star Wars. It has to stop. In order for God, totality, reality, and love to step forward, 
Star Wars cannot exist. Star Wars is blasphemy. Star Wars is the devil's craft. That's the problem here. It's not us. It's the devil. And that's boo-boo.